suben un pedazo antes y luego ya caminan, agarran monte a pie. In most cases, they walk to Interstate 8 right here, which is about 40 to 50 miles away, four to five days. Four to five days in 110 degree heat. And if the smuggler abandons them, they aren't going to find any water holes. They're going to die, more than likely. It, it had been about 120, 115 every day for the few days before. He was just lying there with lots of scratches and bloody marks on him from the mesquite thorns and uh, cat claw thorns. This is about where she was at, right here in the bottom of this ditch, where they found her, right in here. And what had happened, a lot of the varmints had ate part of her, and so they scattered the bones around a little bit. And so they had to come in and gather everything up. Buenos días. Buenos días. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Tienes agua? Casi no. ¿Necesitas más? Vine, creí trabajar. Uh -huh. Van a operar a mi señora. Uh -huh. No tengo dinero. Me dijeron que vine yo a trabajar. Uh -huh. ¿Y de dónde te vienes? De Hidalgo. Hidalgo. Uh -huh. No tengo niños chiquitos. Uh -huh. De morirme por ahí, pues no me da miedo morir, pero pues mis hijos. Uh -huh. Para nosotros todos, para los hijos. Que te vaya con Dios. Gracias. Muchas sí, gracias. Uh -huh. His wife needs an operation, and he has children. And he came north looking for work. He paid uh, 13,000 pesos. I don't know how much that is now. American dollars. I think that's probably about $1,300 to get this far, to get separated like that. So the best thing for him is to walk out to the highway and turn himself into the Border Patrol.